But yeah, Jody, you can either make the insightful fighting or you can make your offhand attack, one or the other. I would rather make the insightful fighting if I know if I already know I won't be getting the sneak attack without it. Yeah, basically sneak attack only works on the first hit of a round. I'm not so on your turn in a round. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what the rules are on insightful fighting. That's from Zanadar's. It's a bonus action. He's yes. put it in the chat. Oh yeah, I, he, yeah. It would but, be a bonus action, but he's bonus action. Yeah, I'm attack. just saying if he's saying he understood it as he could get sneak attack multiple times a turn. No. When he Because that's why I was Yeah, like, you only why, get why sneak attack on the first hit. Right? Yeah, it would it'd be uh, first hit. And... First hit, you get sneak attack. After that, you don't. Right. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. And technically, you can choose to delay it till the second hit, but then you might not make your second hit. So that's why mm. everybody just typically just takes it on their first hit. Or I, unless you're feeling really ballsy and you've got like advantage on the second hit, then you do it for crit fishing. But what? even then, it's risky. Exactly. I think what Joe Joey's going for is he thinks the insightful. Fighting will give him a second sneak attack on his round. Not this no. round, but on uh, the next minute rounds. Yeah, the next ten rounds. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, the ability so... it gives him does work. It's just whether or not we want to say the offhand is negated. So, so, no, so the way I understand, so the way I understand insightful fighting is is basically he can apply sneak attack anytime. On one opponent. Um, or an app, or not any time, but I should say, you're going to attack somebody, typically. But you know how there's only certain conditions that sneak attack mm. is allowed? Right. Uh, insightful Fightings allows you to... Uh... Oh, it's like an action surge for sneak attack. Sorry, no, I was no, misreading it. No, 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 it's not. Like Berserker with sneak attack. Oh, so you guys are no. bringing it on D and D Beyond. No, that's Thermally. not it either. Because, <laughs> for example, um, for you to for for uh, let's say for uh, a thief to use sneak attack. Okay, first he has to make an inside check. Right, and that's the contest, right? If I fail that one, then I won't be getting the no fighting. You can see that have to go a creature to that one. isn't incapacitated. He's not which, uh, well, he's held upside down. It's not incapacitated, though. No. Uh, that's it. But yeah, he's, he's not incapacitated. He's just restrained. He's sneak against that target if you don't have advantage on attack. I'm not even sure if the whole person guy counts as Okay, so uh, the way I'm going to call it is basically this is for certain circumstances you wouldn't have sneak attack before. You can use his ability to gain sneak attack. Right, right. That's what. That's my rule. But it's still not going to allow you to do sneak attack more than more than once a turn. Right, right. I agree yeah. with that. Which is what I believe a sage advice said was that you can't sneak. Uh, attack so real one, quick, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that long conversation, folks. Uh, welcome back. We just had a few technical difficulties. Thank you for staying with us. So resolve on my end. <laughs> All right, so it's just a regular attack, which means one damage. I already wrote as such, so... All right, we'll go with that, then. All right, so uh, now for our... If you people can believe it, if you're watching, our Cobalt Death Cleric's turn. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. I want to watch. Actually, yeah, Jody could have used it on the uh, the held person guy and get, got to automatically succeed for the insightful person fighting if you want. Was he trying to use it against the, the held person? No, well, I'm if you try it against, if you want to though. Oh. I'm using it against the active person. Yeah. Um I I don't I think being held, um, not hold person, but just being grappled, uh gives me advantage on the on the other guy, but I also get advantage for pack tactics, so either way I have advantage on this guy. Right. Um does the twelve hit the uh Twelve, actually. Uh, let me check real quick. 
It's on the guy in the device that can hold. Oh my gosh, yes it does. Six piercing. With my short sword. The cobalt kills him. <laughs> Six piercing with your short sword. Isn't the short sword slashing? No, it's piercing. Oh, mm. weird. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah I saw it slashing. Mm. Nope. There's something new every day. Anyways, uh, it's... Ray has a wonderful array of abilities, and I was looking forward to seeing him, and he just slashes with his short sword. That's just my luck. Uh, I, I don't feel like I need anything more than my short sword right now. I don't want to burn all my abilities just for some guy that's going to die in a round or two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me. Vathak's going to end him if he's still alive when it comes uh, He's to still exactly. alive. He's still alive. Yeah, he, yeah, and he's bloodied at this point. Oh, good, good, like, good. Yeah, I could have killed him, but I didn't need to. So, uh, Shades, it is your turn. What would you like to do? You have one guy that's whole person, one guy being held upside down, and a lot of, and you guys are just kicking their butts. Um, all right, let me just make sure that. So you're disguising yourself, right? I'm going to disguise myself, but I need to make sure whether the whole person, the whole person, uh, let me is check. Concentration, real quick. but the disguise self okay. is not concentration. All right, now let me check spells. So it's not. So I will disguise myself as the held half elf. Yes, that's how that feels. Anyways, uh, okay. So you disguise yourself. You look like him. He's held. So then, um. Um, and then I'll just ask the guy to uh, again. What's the name of your of your your master? Uh, which one? The one who's dangling upside down. The one who's being flayed alive. He's about to die. Uh, huh. I I know I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna do a straight intelligence check with this guy. Oh gosh, he has a zero on intelligence. No, no way it would be wisdom because it's an inside check. All right. You're about uh, to die. Tell me the name of your master. You might spare your life if you do. I'm more afraid of him than I'm afraid of you, so I won't tell you. <laughs> Do you want to meet the floor at, like, hypersonic speed? Are you going to try to... So that was my turn. Are you going to try to intimidate him, uh, Vazak? Or are you going to... Yeah, I'll try to intimidate him. If that doesn't work, I'm or just going to... Or maybe him. just do non-lethal damage? Yeah, non-lethal smack him in the floor. If he won't stand down and... So this is what he's going to do. And this is going to be crazy. He's going to look in the eyes of the whole person one. And he's going to look in his eyes. And he's just going to go, I love you. I love you. And go, glory to the Centaurum. And uh, he's going to slit it. He's going to grab his dagger and slit his own throat. Now, Vasek's going to like flip him over before he can do that. Just like seeing the dagger come out, danger sense. Just like nope, and just non-lethal right. smack him. Let's on go the ahead to your turn and uh, roll to attack, and I will give you advantage because you're holding him uh, to see if you can smack him to the floor. What would I use for that? Like my knuckles or? Uh, just I athletics? think that would be a, a strength check with your proficiency added to it. Is what, what how I'm going to roll it. So, 16. 16? Um, yeah. He's, he's I'm not like, aiming to kill, just knock out. Uh, you... Uh, hmm. 
Let's yeah, that's how I'm gonna roll that. Um I'm gonna make a constitution saving throw for this guy. If he fails it, it'll be a thirteen. DC thirteen. If he fails, he dies. If he succeeds, he lives. Roll damage, by the way. Uh damage for what? Uh, like, smacking him into the floor. I think it's just automatically just one point. Oh. Yeah, if yeah. I'm trying to just knock him unconscious, I'm just putting him to zero. But he's also upside down. You have to keep in mind if his neck hits the ground just right, it'll break. So what D like what dice yeah. are D twelve. <laughs> Pretty much bang middle. Hmm. Silence. We Hello, my... darkness, my old friend. Oh, nice. <laughs> I wonder if we lost Michael. No, I'm still here. Okay, so is it thunderstorming? Not where you where you are. Oh yeah, but it's slightly raining, just and lightning, but really creepy actually. Uh, I'm actually more worried about my uh, brother to be honest, because he's coming in and there's flash flood warnings. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's see. Sounds like he's, a good night he's for still a alive, couch. but he's unconscious. That's what we wanted. Hey, Bazik did good. Rip, stay wise. <laughs> well, he's still alive. He's just unconscious. No, but he yeah, is but dying. Somebody to make sure he doesn't pass through death's door. Guys, you really did. Uh, what's the constitution saving throw? You really screw up his neck. And if you don't twist it in the right place back, he will die. <laughs> and, we're trusting so... the right. and we're trusting the death cleric to, to, to know what the right way is. <laughs> Rit, Rit knows the right way. Yeah, Pat's gonna just let go of him and go. Did I go? Did I do good, boss? What's your reaction, the shades? I'm just uh, yeah, I'm not reacting at all. <laughs> He's just standing there, cool. Just standing there, cool. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start riffling through his pockets and stuff. <laughs> Never mind whether he's dying or not. I'm just going to be like, hey, what's patting him down and seeing if he's got anything on him. So uh, they uh, uh, I don't think they have anything on them except their basic equipment, which is just a mace and leather armor and oh yeah. Do they have their coin? Are we out of combat? Uh, no, you're, well, I'd say you're still in combat because you still have the other guy. He's like, and he's just like, watching Because generally order. searching a body takes multiple turns. Yeah, so what we need to do is disarm the other guy. Oh, okay. oh I can do that. Him. And bind him. Oh, wait, I can do this on my phone real quick. Okay, so I'll do it. Uh, I just need uh, to uh, look something up real quick. I know, I in fact, I'll take his up. mace. Since, I'll, since, I'll I'm, since I'm pretending to be him. Right. I don't know if he's done it, but on his turn he gets to make wisdom save. Yeah. You could come back. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, what was I looking up? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, he doesn't even more. take one more wisdom save. What was I looking? Do you guys remember what I was looking up? Uh, nope, next. you didn't say. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, let's see. Nope, uh, they don't have it there. Let's, let's try this. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Okay. So game. as you go closer to the guy, Shades, mm -hmm. something's going to come out and bite at you. Okay. Well, as I move forward to uh, take it to place. him, yeah. And it's going to be a uh, six. Does 16 hit you? Uh, 16 will hit me. Okay, you're going to hate me. Uh, you take uh, one piercing damage mm -hmm. and seven poison damage. Okay, one piercing. And what poison damage? Seven. Mm. Okay. And you're like, what the heck? And you've seen this little winged serpent on him. Oh, familiar. So that's my uh, concentration check. All right. Which is higher okay. than 10, so that's good, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. He's still held. And you just see it on him going... <laughs> Do I get to go? Yep, you get to go. All right, so seeing the familiar, I'm going to run over and uh, swat, at, swat at it with a uh, rapier. Actually, first of all, I'll try to gain insightful. I'll use that ability to gain attempt to gain stuff. So, um, boom, 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 boom. Well, we've, you've got an ally within five feet of the target, so you'll have uh, uh, yeah, sneak attack already. You'll have sneak attack regardless. All right, so yeah, I, I step in. Um, sure. Uh, I think I'll, sneak I'll attack works weapons. very similar to to um. So good end here. That hits. Does eleven points to it? Yeah, uh, you kill it. You uh, cleave its head right off. <laughs> Thank you, Mister. Stupid wizards. Should stay under the rocks where they belong. Yeah, it's like the thing you see in action movies when the snake's hanging around a tree and they take a machete and just cut its head off. No, I'll take the rest works. of the body and drape it around me and tuck the head into my shirt as if... It's sleeping. Sure. It's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, good thing you're in disguise, self because your gloves are getting soaked. <laughs> Uh, boss, you're getting a little blood stain soaking through your shirt. <laughs> it's I don't want to do something. Like okay, uh, I guess it will be Ritz turn. And... Are you doing something with the unconscious guy? Everybody, uh, everybody, uh, hold your action now. Do we want to just interrogate this guy or just kill him? He seems like they're they're zealots. I don't think they're gonna give up any information. We break enough toes, boss. They'll talk eventually. Yeah, have you seen those scenes in the movies where you know, a big plate of food comes out and they're like shrinking the fork and the knife of neck with each other? I, I love guess, criminal I, campaigns. I guess I guess Rit and I guess Rit and uh, Thunder Punch uh, go before he goes, anyways, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are oh, we good. all good? We all do before him. Well, Me, except for Needlefoot. And Rit. Yeah, everyone but Needlefoot goes before him. Yeah, but Needlefoot took out the snake, which helped. So I, I, I'm just sharpening my blades, getting ready. <laughs> just give um, me the word. Rit, Rit says a little prayer to the, uh, the guy lying down on the floor. And then slits his throat. I said before, I'll say it again. I love criminal campaigns. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> may, may, may you have fun in the afterlife. <laughs> and you just see a tear come down the other, the guy under hold person's face. A friend of yours also. And, he, and you just hear this song playing in the background going, Near, far, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was like good goodbye, my dear friend. <laughs> I was thinking good night, sweetheart. Ooh, good night, sweetheart. <laughs> good night, sweetheart. Uh, there you go. Just kill the man. Good... <laughs> That's not quite the false side over from Randy, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my gosh, I just saw a better one. Take my breath away. Oh god. Mm. Okay, so 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 that was Ritz go. He he finished uh, off the, the Yeah, dog. he finished yeah, the the guy that was dying, yeah. So it's my turn. So, blood of the pool yeah, now. Yeah, it's your turn. So I will take the person's mace. <laughs> What are you going to do with that mace, boss? I look like him now. This will help us when we go upstairs. And uh, let's see. What else can I do? Can I? Does he have a shield? Yeah, does he have a shield? Maybe a magic shield. Or some sort of uh, Zentrum uh, coin on him or something? Uh, There's the tattoo on him. But or that. Well, I've already disguised myself for for that. So. Yeah. Any other garb on him? Uh, not that you know. It's just black leather armor, normal clothes, uh, snake tattoo, and a dead snake in your pants. Or okay, shirt. so that was a that was a <laughs> <in> my pants. <laughs> Sleeping, sleeping. So this was a that was a free action to take his mace, right? Right. So then I will hold my action to uh, to smack him with a mace. Are you telling us we're going to attack all in unison? That's right. Once uh, um, once I got my daggers out of the throat. Yeah, so Shades is holding his action with the mace, like he's holding up above his head, ready to swing it. Yeah, so as soon as, I guess, uh, Vazak uh, gets his lick in, uh, I'm going to give it a go. All right, so like... <laughs> so, I'm uh... just going to cold clock him with the knuckle duster. <laughs> All right, everybody's holding action. I don't think everybody. Oh, no, I'm not holding to... action. I'm literally punching him in the face with my knuckles. No, I'm talking about everybody else holding an action. I don't action. think everybody else had a chance to hold an action, just me. Yeah. All right. Then, uh, Shades, uh, Vazic, roll me attack rolls. Would I have advantage because of a person? Yeah, you would have advantage. Ooh, that's a thunder punch. Let's see. Did I get a mace? Yes, I did. Well, that's why I'm a sorcerer. <laughs> All right. Well, you uh, have advantage. Oh, yeah, I do, don't I? Woohoo! One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, roll twenty. <laughs> oh, roll twenty! You were so good at doing that. <laughs> okay. I, 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 uh, I like to think every, after everyone says roll twenty, we have a th- smiling and it just freezes frame. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like roll twenty. It's like the it's like you, shade, shades just whiffs and then turns, smiles, and poses. <laughs> that's, that's what the that's what the camera freezes on him. It's like and, you know, he just kind of shrugs his shoulder, like, "Well, that's why I'm not a fighter." Boss, boss, you're supposed to swing lower than that. <laughs> that's why Anyways. you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I swing my mace like a boss. <laughs> no offense, boss, but you need to work on your down swing. <laughs> And okay, uh, so six damage. And quick question about a whole person: Does it immediately stop if they get attacked? It it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. But uh... I believe they get a save. But wouldn't it technically be an auto crit against someone and the whole person? Ooh, that's a good if they're point. paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah, they're paralyzed. Yeah, go ahead. So I can roll crit damage for my knuckles, which is an extra d6. Actually, no, it's just yeah. at the end of its turn. Is that right? Am I reading that right? Uh, Does, uh, uh, let me look it up. I'll look it up too, but it doesn't say it automatically d- goes away. No, that's magic. I know. Well, it doesn't for whole what status does whole person get? Paralyzed. 
Yeah. But he, he gets a check every round to see if he gets out of it. Right, but but get but hitting him taking damage doesn't allow him another and turn. Turn with some, if he target gets makes another wisdom saving throw. Yeah, I should be making wisdom saving throw at the end of each of his turns. Yeah, but yeah, if he gets hit, it doesn't break it. No, and it is a crit. If you hit, it's a crit. All right. A Riddle. paralyzed creature is incapacitated. Click your knuckles again oh, and oops. add that damage to your other damage. Wait, I already rolled an extra d6. Oh yeah, he did. Oh. He rolled another six. Uh, twelve. So damage. I got twelve. Yeah. All right. He is up. How bad is he looking? Not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's still held, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> For the moment. That's true. Now he gets to save. Right now, he gets to try a save, a wisdom save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because the way a whole person works, as you smack uh, him with your knuckles, his face just is frozen in motion where uh, where he just uh, got punched. So his cheek is on the, going into the inside of his mouth, and he's got this funny face going ooh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thug wisdom saving throw. He's funny, boss. Anyways. That makes it. 13 is my 13. He's up. He's ready to attack. But you guys are surrounding him. And that's and his that's turn. That's the end of his turn, right? So, yep. Right. Yeah, he's screwed now. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare to die. I am uh, Montoya. Prepare to die. Die. How much? Do I have advantage on him? Uh, you ha- no. You don't have advantage on him now. Mm. But, but you do you get, get sneak. Because you've got everybody surrounding him. Well, no, and you sneak would attack. have advantage from Rip's attack pack tactics, right? Uh, or no, that that would be Ray, Ray. Yeah, Rick gets pack tactics. So let me look up his packs real quick. See if they get pack tactics. All right, let's go. I believe he races. gets, because he's rogue, he gets, he gets advantage because he's basically... He's surrounded, so someone right. within five feet, so he gets advantage and sneak attack. I think. I, I yeah, think I believe so. it really? works similar to pack tactics, but it's been a while since I play Rogue, so. I don't I think, think he gets um, advantage. I think to get the advantage, I need to. I don't need advantage to have sneak attack, but to gain advantage, I can do something like bonus action hide and then attack Yeah, you could hide. try hiding first, then getting the advantage. He's gonna, he's gonna stand behind me, and then hide, I'm and, gonna, then, go, I'm gonna and then attack again. No, I'm gonna play with my archetype here for a second. I'm gonna try to, uh, now that I, he's moving, try to get a uh, sense of what his thing is. Oh, no, not that. Um, inquisitive fighting, that one. So, I will do an inside check against your... Oh, yeah, you have to do a bonus action to hide, yeah. Yeah, it begins his deception, which is charisma base, I believe. Yeah, deception's a charisma base. Okay, so I don't gain that, but I still have sneak attack on this round, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I can hit him. And... I still have my dagger in my hand, because I haven't swapped out. I guess I can put my rapier on him now, right? Is it an action to stow and draw a weapon? Well, you can drop your dagger... Okay. Yeah. And then, and then draw grab rapier. Him with a rapier. Okay. And it's and then that'll be twenty points. Twenty points. How you want to do this? Well, I, I see the spot where his uh, little pseudo dragon had been sitting on his shoulder from the bleached out, bleached area of the leather and stuff, and I just kind of aim my sword in there and go up through the neck and out through the mouth or whatever. So I'm going through his shoulder, up through his neck, and out through his mouth. The nice hook. So yeah, that's where the pseudo dragon should have sat. And as he falls, uh, his hand is lands into the hand of the other guy, and uh, you just see the silent moment where they're just there. We but really, uh, we you're really now are uh, evil. We really are evil. We just killed. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just returning them to their uh, natural state. Do they have any gold? 
Uh, uh, let me check. Goodies. Search the bodies. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. natural state is to be dead. Uh, ah, it says the priest of death. Right? <laughs> that's your no, that's your but line. they have, I will say this much, they have heavy crossbows. Good. Coward's weapon. All right, so you right, guys I'll are grab a, I'll grab a heavy crossbow. I don't know if I can use one well. I'll let me check. I'm just going to carry it. I'm not going to. It's part of my costume. Yeah, I can use it, weapons. But... I think heavy crossbow is a martial, isn't it? It's a martial yeah, it's weapon. Yeah, heavy martial. Yeah. yeah, so Thunder Punch can use it, no problem. But... Yeah. I mean, I crossbow. Put it on to on it, dealing with people at range. I mean, come on. Yeah, well, you Face know, right so... we attack before we run into the combat or something. So here's the question. What do you guys want to do now? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Do you want to go upstairs to check the other rooms? or? That's a good question. What do y'all think? Should we check these rooms? Because there's two doors. Sure. Or there are more doors in this downstairs. Than there, there was fighting upstairs, boss. Yeah, I'm just the trying to make sure boss. that I understand what, what's in the room. How many doors are in this room? Because I see two, three over there. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so uh, which door do you want to go in? That's all Chim we see, Chimney right? counts as a boss. That's, that's a door, right? Yeah, there's a door right here. There's a door right here. Uh, there's a door right over here. Okay, yeah, we and... can't tell that there's a door over there. Yeah, like we can't see past like. The... Yeah, hold on a second. Uh... Uh, who looks... That's better. All right, and uh, there's a door over here. How about here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There is a door right over there. Yeah, we can't see that door. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I appear to have fallen off the planet. Um, boom, boom, boom. So, is there anything in the fireplace? Uh, just a warm lit fire, a few chairs, a brandy. Ooh, a brandy. A, couple, uh, a box of cigars. Mr. Needlefoot, can you search the the dead guards? See if there's any keys or anything. Are these guards, or are we talking about the dead bodies that they left? The bodies. That I would. Left. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I would uh, say, um, <clears throat> I would say they're uh, fine Luskin cigars. And they're uh, also four chairs. Maybe we should sit around in the chairs and smoke cigars for a little while and think about things. Eh? Before we go upstairs? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. I think we go Not. upstairs, like a little buddy said. He heard a fighting up there. Okay. Yeah, right. I agree. Up first if there's a fight, I want in. Let's punch yeah. some stuff. So just to be clear, you don't want to check. Uh, whoops, you don't want to check this room, this room, or this room. No, well, if we go upstairs, we have to come back down eventually, anyway, right? Um, uh, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. There's fighting upstairs. There's action upstairs. Why would we want to check boring rooms when there's fighting and stuff? Well, you guys are a bunch of criminals. I'm just saying. All right, there could be stuff lying around. It's the boss's call. Yeah. So I I am down to half of my hit points, by the way. Damn. That was uh, one nasty snake bite. Yeah. So. Is, is Take that, a bit of a break. Is that a request, boss? Well, I'm first looking to see if I've got any healing potion. Doesn't look like I do. Right. So, yes, can, that I, is a request, Mr. Ritt. I, I can fix your health right, right up, boss. Boss, you've turned into a zombie. <laughs> Actually, I just laugh. Uh, like, I'll say a prayer for you, boss. Oh, that's awful. To kill him more. No! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Inflict wounds, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Cure wounds, not inflict. Cure wounds? I don't have that memorized. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because it's one of those that, like, hey, if I kill the boss, I don't have to worry about the gold piece anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, 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 you got, you seen through me. Do it. <laughs> you hurt the boss, I hurt you. Good, good. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> boss is holding my money, and knowing these two, they're going to sneak it away before I'm going to notice. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Uh, how much damage did you take? So I'm Eight. down ten, ten hit points. I'm, I'm, I have okay. twenty max, and I'm at ten. Um, here I'll, I'll give you all this. It's a good one to spend. Yeah, it's probably alright. But I don't know I'll if give anybody you else this. took damage. Aid, three creatures. I'm that's but I'll turn. live. What? So basically, everybody's got extra five, five extra points. points. Nice. Well, five temp. Yeah, for eight mm. hours. Until they're oh. gone. Five temp yeah. is better than none. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> even if you get healed, you can get up to that. Oh, you can heal that back. Yeah, yeah, I always forget that about eight, and I'm a, yeah. I play so many clerics, and I always forget that. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's more economical than just doing a healing word. Yep. So everybody got it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. except for me, right? Except for me, I'm a DM. <laughs> <laughs> we see the, oh, the, please, the you've got enough nuts to sit full health. The bots will be on the quicker we don't want to check out. Uh, my vote's for the stairs, but it's up to you. So stairs. Uh, yeah. st uh, so uh, Mr. Needlefoot says stairs. Uh, Thunder Pledge, what do you say? What gets us the best amount of gold the quickest, but also gets us a lot of fighting? Rit, and you'll notice why, while he says that, you can see some of his wounds patch up a touch, but he looks tired. Um, Ritz was listening to the door he's standing next to, seeing if he hears anything behind him. Uh, you hear some uh, rustling, and then you hear this. <coughs> no, wait, it'd be more of a... <coughs> Rick goes to another door and says, there's nothing behind that door, boss. <laughs> 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 You're terrible. <laughs> and listen to this door. Wait, wait. Why are you talking that oh. voice? There's nothing behind this door, boss. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, uh, up the stairs. Who's who's? Oh, well, there's more bosses. At? More doors to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> You all squidgy. No, Stay throw, behind me. Throw that out, Joe. Uh, uh, I for detail may use a bonus action. Yeah, we some perception. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I would say with that, Nicholas Neofood, if you're uh, looking upstairs or downstairs or just everywhere yeah. around, I'm stealthing my way up the stairs. Uh, I you didn't hear my question. I'm asking, are you looking everywhere around? Downstairs or upstairs? Well, I'm looking everywhere around, I guess. Uh, well, the stairs are like not uh, confined by a little stairwell or whatever. Uh, yeah, I was in yeah. the impression it was just a 10 foot wall with stairs. Uh, you hear something uh, in this room when you're listening to the wall, yeah. and something in this room. Something in what and what? Wait, what? So this uh, door. Yeah. This, this door. door. And then where was and the other room? This door. Mm. The same, well, same doors I heard something in. <laughs> you're like, and you look uh, at Rit and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Start creeping back down then. <laughs> Boss, 
Oh, so there's stuff in these rooms, I think. No, def pick... definitely nothing in those rooms, boss. I'm telling I'm you, nothing in those Rit. rooms. I'm going to look at Rit. I'm like, you're breaking my heart, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing in those rooms, boss. <laughs> Who? What, what are you doing with the tide? Who? Who's the go to? Well, Everyone just as much goes because... Shades because of the crit. Yeah, yeah. Because... Even though it's reduced by one, it's still a crit. Yeah, well, that and since there's no rolls on crits because it's a crit roll, yeah. I'd say it's just because it's a higher roll. Yeah. Well, uh, crits crits don't matter for uh, skill checks, but I think it always goes to the person. Y yeah, that's an uh, optional perception. rule. Everyone says no, no, no. It doesn't count for skill rolls. It's actually an optional rule. Oh, okay. I can't remember page number, but it is in either. DMG okay, or so uh, I will say shade C through deception because I think it would have to be tied or above. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> so shades, uh, you're gonna open the door? Yeah, I'm gonna stand. That, that's a bad idea, boss. I'm gonna stand, stare at Rit. <laughs> and open the door. That's a bad idea, boss. I'm going to do the worst thing I could do, which is not even me looking inside while I'm <laughs> opening the door. I'm giving a glaring look at, at Rit. I pull out Where my get that, boss? Man, what layer is this on? Mm. Can... It's on our layer. We can see this. Okay, so you see this uh, great... Uh, what well, looks to be like a hunting lodge of various animals and bees, heads, trophies. And on the center aisle uh, is a cage with that's beautifully decorated. And inside is, is this beautiful, majestic bird. It's like, ah! And it is a uh, falcon used for falconry and hunting. So... It's probably a dumb question, but being because you guys are a bunch of criminals, but do you want to take it? <laughs> <laughs> do we want to take it? Yes. Uh, the The question is more: is can I take it? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> no, no. The real question is: is there anything else in this room we could take? As no, well. Unless you want a hunting trophy and just take all the furniture and just have like a room in the end where you have all that stuff in there. Well, sounds like a good idea to us. Let's start shipping the furniture up. <laughs> could technically we need a, we need a, a bunch furniture manor. <laughs> yes, he could. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you just see him come in and like with a sack full of furniture. I got a stuff, boss. <laughs> we, we can we can furnish the the tavern, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just watch the barkeep. I'm not going to even ask where you got that. <laughs> never Five mind figure that discount. It, never mind that it's got the engravings on the house of whoever it is that we took it from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can scratch that right out, boss. <laughs> okay, so grabbing the bird. Um, the bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. And uh, can I stash the bird it. or? Uh, well, the door or something. Is I'd say it? you can keep it on your shoulder or something. Okay. Oh, I thought it was in cage. Yeah, this is basically the den and trophy room. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so let me move that. Uh, who wants the bird though? Out of your group. I'd kind of like the bird. Cattle of bird. course you yeah. would, Mr. Needlefoot. <laughs> I know what you'd do. It, with uh, it. Saves a day, day's rations, right? <laughs> animals are weird. You can talk to animals, can't you, Thunderpunch? No. Ooh, that would be kind of cool, having your own bird that you can talk to. And... Who was it that can talk to animals? I think um, it was me. It's not me, I'm a Goliath. I think I may have been the cleric. Was it you? Yeah, right? probably. And I, it might be a spell I might be able to get, but it's not something I have memorized right now. 
Because someone talked to the uh, dogs talked last the dogs time. Last time, yeah. Oh, I tried to talk to them just because I was trying to be nice to them, but I have no ability to speak with animals. <laughs> I thought I thought the dogs just spoke English or something. I thought that was the reason why we talked to the dogs. Oh. I can't remember how that happened. Yeah, I don't remember how it happened either. It's been so long. I thought I honestly thought somebody had it. Let me make sure that I don't. Yeah, I'm I'm double checking, but I don't see it. Spells. Oh wait, wasn't that dog like my criminal contact in disguise or something? Yeah, he was. He, he was like a. Uh, Werewolf or something, right? Yeah, yeah it I... wasn't actually a dog, if I remember correctly. But to be honest, it's been so long. I've got like four different memories, and I play so much D and D. I'm not sure if it's even a <laughs> fucking campaign. All right, I am moving this up to your guys's because there's so much stuff. I'm moving it this and putting it. Where is it? Oh, still there. Yeah, no, nothing on my current spell list. So what type of bird is this? It's a falcon, but it has the st stats of a hawk. You can use it as your, like, your little pet or something. Like the and guys have winged stats. snakes. You can. It has advantage on perception checks for sight. And it has talents that do slashing damage. It's only good for one hit point. But it's good for perception checks. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Edit. Uh, players journals. All players. Okay. Yep. No, nothing. Can in my you see it? I... Can you see it now? Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Mm, really? I don't see it. You don't? Yeah, it's on the character sheets in the journal. There's Falcon. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so you guys took the prize Falcon of the house. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Anyways. All right, let me go open this door. Uh, what'd you say, Aaron? I'm going to open this door right here. All right. Let's see. What about this what one, Rit? I'm going to open it, and I'm going to be looking back at Rit again. <laughs> Don't do it, boss. You're going to regret it. <laughs> of course, that's why I said with the last door with the Falcon. <laughs> it's an owlbear. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'd like an owlbear pelt. So you guys are going in there? I'm flinging open the door. I don't right. know what's in there yet. We don't want to just go blindly charging in. There might be a bike pudding in there. Uh, hold on a second. Go quick. Or a ghost. You see what ghosts can do to this party. Of course, to other parties. Oh, never mind. Did someone say charge in? Um, if you want, but we're in the doorway right All now. All right. Uh, so, there we go. Uh, whoops. Not on there yet. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you're you see a giant library that's full of books, so many books that it dwarfs uh freaking the one from Beauty and Beast. There's dwarfs in a Beauty and a Beast. No, it dwarfs Beauty and Beast. The library's that large. Yeah, I know. Oh, we're gonna sneak <laughs> in. Boom, 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 boom. Get into here. They're dwarven books, so they're actually really small books. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are numbish books. Dwarvish books are books on hairy. rocks, books on bricks, book on, books on beer. <laughs> books on books on books on books. <laughs> books were on books on books where books talk about these books. It's a and then you book. got the review section, and one, and it's full of. I'm not very I thought I thought the dwarves put their beer on the books, not the book beer book in the beer. <laughs> okay, uh, but you also see in the center, near, no, I would say near a wall, there's these two chairs. Uh, a 
Albear rug. Hey, and we called it. Hopefully the rug won't turn into a real owlbear. That would be bad. That's what, that's and you see this uh, locked uh, tome in a glass case. Ooh. Well, well, show me the case. I'll take the What lock. did we hear in here? Wait. Oh, sorry. Hurry up. Uh, you hear, uh, you heard some shuffling sounds, but you couldn't figure out what what it was and where it comes from. It's the album. Uh, why don't you make a perception check? Ooh, a perception check, you say? Yeah, I rather like those. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see a book uh, move from one shelf over to the other for the midair. Hey. Guys, there's a and when there. they all turn around, they don't see it. Like it's already happened. Guys, there's a book that just reshelved itself somehow. You don't believe him. Where is the Albert Pelt? It's so I go and I go moved over to book. I would say, uh, watch this one. I'd say it's like right over here somewhere. Okay, I'll move over there and uh, point at it and say, hey, Rick, what can you make of this? Oh, hey, Thunder Punch. No, he's talking about the pelt. Uh, well, pelt slash rug, whatever. Fazak's what just knelt over it, like, ready to punch it in the head if it moves. Oh, I, I, I was trying to find the book that I saw. Uh, the book that moved? Um, okay. Uh, you move over and you see uh, another book uh, flow through the air and a different book and go to another shelf. Where at? You guys don't see it. He sees it. You yeah. guys are looking elsewhere. But but he wants to move to where he sees the movement. Uh, well, that's the thing. Uh, let's see. Right. Let's draw. Uh, first movement also, was like over here. Next movement was over I'm here. Not... Yeah. Sorry a second. Uh, Rit was the one that got the crit. Uh, Nicholas only got an eleven on his. Position. Okay, Nicholas doesn't see it. Then it was Rit. Oh, good drop, Rich. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing, boss. I mean, uh... <laughs> Man, Lassie, man, I don't know, just forgive that one gold piece dead to make it right I like to think Rich is going, I see nothing, I see nothing. I see nothing. I know nothing, I see nothing. I see, can speak, and know nothing. No, it's see, speak, and hear nothing. But anyways, uh, so uh, you guys want to explore anything else in this room? So I don't uh, know. is there anything? Is there anything in this room? Can I make a perception roll? Well, the only thing you notice is the other outside the books on general information is the tome in a glass case that seems to be locked. That's right. Not make- that not the glass case, but the uh, tome itself. The tome itself Can has a lock. lock? Right. Kind of like a, how a diary has a lock. Do you want to open the case? Uh, sure. Needlefoot? Trying to pick the lock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're first opening the glass case? I guess so. You open the glass case. Uh, I might investigate it first, see if there's any thing that seems uh, dangerous or out of the ordinary about it. Oh, you also notice on it uh, the Grauhun family crest on it. The Gruhu? The family of this house. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so... Uh, you open the glass case? Well, I'm trying to investigate it first to see if there's anything that looks out of the ordinary, that, like a trap. Or... Nope. Mm, okay. So, yeah, I open it. So, you try to open the uh, book? Sure. What is Red doing? Uh, I, I, I try to grab a flying book. You're just uh, flying in the air while holding it drops and then you fall down and then Shades looks at you and goes, Good goofing around! How's that for the... Okay. The book. That opens the book. 
Now, what's the book that's got as a title, if anything? It appears to be a family tome. Mm. But as you uh, open it, uh, let's see. Three things in the shape of tieflings appear Hmm. there. Ah. Right on top of it. How dare you? <laughs> ah. Ah. And awesome. uh trouble. Yeah, so you see these three tiefling type shapes, like long horns, ghostly apparitions, they go oh and everyone roll initiative. Whoa. Close that book. <laughs> they disappear. I'm just kidding. I hope, but I will. All right. Do, do. All right. And uh, I'm pretty sure they, uh, they rolled. Yeah. Okay. All right, and you they said they roll. look like apparitions, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> I just realized that. What? He's a cleric, remember? Oh, right. Okay, shit. Uh, no, wait, I didn't descend it. All right. Okay, Nicholas Needlefoot, it's your turn. Uh, what do you want to do? Ah, ghost. <laughs> I close the book and uh, bonus action disengage. (laughs) (laughs) They're all staring at you as you run away. Disengage. All right. uh, I will run back to here and I'll pull out my bow when I'm back there. I so badly won a D&D game where it has the librarian ghost from Ghostbusters in it. Oh, wow. (laughs) (laughs) Because you know that would be fun. Uh, So, uh, okay, uh, that will be Nicholas Needlefoot's turn. Shades, what do you want to do? Shades? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. I was just wondering why you went. Why I went? Well, the ghost had higher initiative, didn't they? Oh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. a good question. Where'd... Yeah. No, Shades is you on didn't... there. You didn't oh. select the Spectre icon before you rolled initiative. Oh, right. I'll do that again. Not that, not that I mind. I, I don't mind them not getting a turn. Well, well <laughs> right. he needs to re-roll. He needs to click on him and then re-roll initiative. Oh, even better. <laughs> There we go. Bad the boss <laughs> All right, Jade, uh, what do you want to do? <clears throat> Alrighty then. Uh, let me focus on the one that's in between uh, uh, Vazak and uh, Rit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll do Frostbite. Which is a DC thirteen Constitution save. Frostbite Constitution save. I don't think they have high Constitution because they're undead. If they did, I'd be very surprised. It's actually pretty normal. Mm-hmm. They fail. Okay, so that guy right here takes two points of cold damage, and oh, hold on a second. Okay. Just checking something. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's that? Uh, nothing. Uh, I'll tell you later. Uh, so which one? The one, two, or three? The one in, going uh, from the one. That's, that's three. Yeah. That's three. Yeah, I'm going from left to right. Um. So. So three, and then if it's making a weapon attack, which it probably isn't, it'll have disadvantage. Right. 
Uh, as you do cold damage, you notice uh, on its arm, it's in freezing as much as it should, but it does some damage. Okay. So, uh, now it's the Spectre's turn. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vezek, uh, Rit, have a roll off for me. Whoever rolls the highest d20, uh, I guess you can assume what's going to happen. Rit, uh, they are going to, uh, it's going to move its spectral hand. And, uh, do this little number. Does 11 hit you? Uh, no. All right, you're good. Just in case you're wondering, I put my armor class down my, uh, tag on the bottom of the screen. Oh, uh, okay. It's uh, as well. All right, uh, so the second specter is going to swing at you, uh, Vazek. Ten will, n- yeah, miss. And the third one is going to move over. Mm. How much movement do these guys got? Probably enough. Yeah, you're probably right. Movement. Oh. Oh, yeah. They can totally go over there. This one's coming after you, Shades. And it's going to be... Uh, does 11 hit you? No. All right, you're good. Wow, these guys can't hit worth anything. But uh, Red, it is your turn. Uh, do I recognize these guys as being undead? I figure I do. Yeah, they're undead. But uh, roll me a religion check. Yeah, you know they're undead, but you don't know anything more than that. Can I get um three um wisdom saves? You can uh, DC DC twelve. DC twelve, all right. That one fails. That one fails. They all okay. fail. They're all turned, so they all run away. The they uh, run away. Well, and... not yet. They don't run until their turn, right? Right. Uh, then uh, it is Vazek's turn. Is Vazek smart enough to realize what Rick did? Uh, I think he's. <laughs> he's seen it check. I think an uh, intelligence he's... check. <laughs> oh, I think he's seen it before, though. Is the thing. Yeah, he's smart enough. Yeah, then no, he's just going to put away the knuckles, draw the maul, just in case, but he's not going to attack unless they attack us. So you're going to hold an action? Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm like going to hold an attack check. unless someone comes at us. Alright. Um, so... Everybody's just going to hold their action, I'm assuming? Well, that's that's Vazak. That's what he's doing. All right. Yeah, that's what Vazak's doing, is holding action unless someone attacks. Uh, so, um... It's a needle foot. Needle foot. Uh, uh, what, do you, what do you want to do? I want to fall asleep. <laughs> um... Nobody actually attacked last time. No, it was literally was falling asleep during all that. Um, oh, Joey's falling asleep in the combat. Uh-oh. Yeah, right. 
Has anyone Basically, actually had for a hit or anything? Brit did something, and Fasik's not attacking, but he swapped to his biggest weapon. Yeah, they they turned he turned undead and they failed, but they're not they they run on their turn. It's not their turn yet. Okay, I will draw my rapier and prepare to attack if uh, need be. Um. All right. And I will bonus action disengage and. Ha- no, I'll, I won't do that. But I will bonus action hide. <laughs> Can I do that in the fog of war? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, you disappear into the shadows, very home center sense of style. Mm-hmm. So it's all right. So, uh, shades. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to. The, does Needlefoot still have the book? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. I'm Quite gonna. Close. I'm gonna see if there's anything else in the room. Is that a perception or investigation? I'll say you won't see anything that seems of importance in the room other than that Needlefoot took. All right. Then I will. Come over here, and there's a door right here. Uh, yes, there is a door right there. Uh, Let me get the uh, fog of war. There we go. So, I guess I'll just start listening at that door, but I don't know if I have the action to do it. Well, uh, I say you use your movement and you haven't done anything but listen to the door, so yeah. All right, do you want to use that same 12 that I rolled? Or do you want me to re roll? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, what was your question about what are you doing? A perception roll? Yeah, uh, I to listen. To uh, you, if you're a perception roll, you would notice this door is locked. Okay. But you think someone with good thieves tools can open it. Okay. <laughs> if only you knew someone that it had uh, good sticky paws. <laughs> they are not sticky. I only like to have interesting books to read at night. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'll step out of the way and make room right. for Needlefoot. All right. And that'll be your turn. And now it's the Spectre's turn. And they each uh, disappear uh, where they uh, came from. Because they're just so frightened. Mm. All right. And we're out of initiative. And I have an initiative tracker. Oh. What's the foster say? You need uh, this door open? See what I can do. Mm. Brit's kind of sad. The dead people left. <laughs> well, I I need to make sure they return to the their dead state, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll burn the place down. I... <laughs> you got the save bus. Do we need to burn the save? Yeah. So, uh, eighteen with uh, thieves' tools. Yeah, you open the door and. Uh, you see this uh, room that looks to be a uh, sort of private study. And you see all these uh, books and chairs and fine glass of booze there. And just like you think this is the Lord's uh, private study. Look, Rit, booze. Mm. Booze, books, look, boss books. Gee, I wonder what we got in this room. So as you open a book, you realize it's fake cardboard, and you open it, and what you see inside surprises you. You find a poem. Okay. You want to read it? Yeah, sure. It's very saucy. Ah, it's all right. Do we need to change the rating of the stream from uh, PG to NC-17 or what? Did you read it out uh, loud? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, the yeah well, this is actually in the book. It says he basically Beautiful. keeps... I didn't know you had those feelings for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, boss, you know, I always like a good lizard for lunch. There, there was a bottle of ketchup. Yeah. And I are big lizard, aren't you? Oh, wait, you're a dragon more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he just goes, oh, wait, you're a dragon board. Not my type. But you just said you like lizards. Dragon's not a lizard. True. But you're anyways. I'm scared if your lizard out on the rock would just breathe fire uh, spontaneously. You'd probably have a lot more lizards and a lot less. Uh, other oh, people. yeah. You also find in these books a few body drawings. Body drawings? How's body. Body? It's good. Oh. Excellent year. But, boss, that, that's all one glass alone was 100 gold pieces back at the end. That's only 50 because it's half gone. <laughs> this is for uh, whoever wants it. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Vezik, what are you doing uh, now these guys are in the study? Or are you just hanging out? Or no, Vasek hasn't since the ghost disapparated. Uh, Vasek's you... just focused on the Albib help. More ready. Just ready to smack it. He doesn't trust Albibs to anything. Okay. He either wants to wear it or kill it, and he's not sure if it's alive. He's giving it the odd nudge with his. Uh, roll me a mess and check. You don't know. Do can I can I do I notice a uh, thunder punch checking out the owlbear? Yeah, you do. I'm gonna come to about right here. Use mage hand and drape it over him. <laughs> uh, roll me a uh, deck saving throw, uh, Vasic. No, what you need to do is mage hand it so it looks like it's walking at him. You ever seen a cat with uh, Peter Bags tied to its paws? Now imagine a Goliath t- entangled with this rug and you can't. I'm going to scream it's out. Thunder Punch, it looks like you're winning. You got him on the ropes. <laughs> I'm just going to do like the biggest like back jump since it's over my back. I'm just going to jump onto my back onto the floor. <laughs> like trying to re- wrestle move. Right? move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you do that and you slam back on the ground. And be like, and, and, uh, looks like you looks like you won, Thunder Punch. You can. And put as it on you now. stand back up, uh, uh, you, the Albert rug is now on him, like he's wearing it, like a uh, kind of a pelt. But he doesn't notice it. Yeah, I got him, boss. Plenty I knew, I knew you could do it. I always had faith on you, Thunder Punch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, do you want to check any other rooms or just go straight upstairs? Uh, what do y'all think? There's a room here, You're a room here, You're smart. Yes. and a room here. I'm going to come up to Rit. Rit, which room do you think we shouldn't go through? <laughs> all these down here, boss. They're all they're all bad luck. And you see the falcon on your shoulder go raise its shoulders like. Ah! All right, then sounds like this is the one. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let me do the fog of war. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Hey, what? There was a door right there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, there is a door right there. I didn't notice it. Cool. 
Okay, you see a uh, this large room, a chair in the center uh, with cut ropes, and inside you see these uh, dripping of blood, these two dead guards. Hmm. Well, that's a dead end. <laughs> over here. You know, maybe Rich should do a little uh, quick prayer. <laughs> Anyone got I can't wait. I can't wait till he gets the ability to raise undead. This is, it's going to be so awkward for Speak everybody else. <laughs> for everyone else, yes. <laughs> All right. The whole party will be undead walking. <laughs> hey, hold still while I, while I cast this spell on you. First, it's uh, drain, drain health, then it's raise dead. Okay, so you walk in and you see a room with shelves and 11 herbs and spices on the shelves. 11 herbs? Mm-hmm. The, colonel, the colonels used to live here. And you also see a uh, a very old, pale, halfway, <laughs> uh, very properly dressed, really uh, like what amounts to a sort of a suit, and a fine mustache, and uh, he's tie. dead on the floor. Yeah, bow tie, dead bow, on the floor. Bow tie. Bow tie. Yeah. Mm. Don't know what that is. Apparently, somebody just did not like uh, it. And and you also see a large hat, white hat on a halfling, who's in white robe clothes with an apron on, dead on the floor. Oh, let's search the bodies. So uh, evidently, these this is Colonel Sanders and uh, Oscar Meyer. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say uh, Chef Boyer. Carl Sanders. Well, it, Beaker, it... Beaker, and uh, what's his name? Oh, Professor Honeydew. Professor. <laughs> Professor Bunsen, right? I thought it was Honeydew or something. Oh, Bunsen. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it was yeah, Bunsen. Yeah, probably Bunsen. Yeah, Bunsen and <laughs> Bunsen and Beaker. There you go. Beaker. Come on, I'm not even American, and I know this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm very sad at the uh, all world. we need is for you to one day learn speak with dead, and then we can finally know the colonel's secret recipe. You can interrogate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you basically went into the pantry and you found a dead butler and a dead cook. But is oh. there a candlestick nearby? At least we know uh, the butler didn't do it. But they actually, didn't there's a door happened. right here. If you want to go through it. Oh, sure. Yeah. All, right. All right. You are now Jeez. in, walk right in. The closet. Oh, hey, it's behind the fireplace. Uh, you enter this room, a fire pit with a roasted hog on it, and you see a bunch of herbs, a bunch of vegetables, a bunch of... Um, Whatever I can't think of right now, but uh, you also see a fireplace with a uh, like with a pot cooking on it in there. What looks like to be a stew, and yeah, you basically found the kitchen. Okay, well, is that a door on the right wall? Uh, there's a door right here. And Any right bowls? Here. Any bowls? Any bowls? Yeah, there's a couple of bowls. Uh, uh, Rit starts filling a bowl of stew and uh, starts wolfing it down. Vasak's gonna join Rit. I think so too. This is this is gonna be one of those uh, bonding moments that we have. Right. Where we're all just gonna just you know sit around the pig and eat stew, mm. eat stew, and mm. reminisce mm. about the good old days. 
Good old days. The, when I was old. About the, the gas we just didn't kill. <laughs> you ever fought an owl bear? <laughs> Not as skillfully as you did, Thunder Punch. No. <clears throat> Can't trust any of them. I'd skip one and wear one if I could. I fought, I fought an owl once. It was mean, vicious, had claws, big claws. Mm. I ran around bear once. <laughs> there were no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not good one. I was about to say, you know, I ran around bear once, but only once, because then the bear could copy. <laughs> Doesn't Needlefoot want run around bear all the time? No, 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 no. We don't talk about that, Rit. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my other diary. Oh, I was gonna say, like, does that count as bear? I think I have armor and clothing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it's. <laughs> Yeah, I have it leather covers armor. all the important parts. <laughs> so, okay, maybe I have a cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> MMO armor. A cod piece like in Black Adder? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of DM it appears. So, is there a door here and a door here? Is that what, what you're showing us? I think he's offline. I, I think know. he gave up on us. Yeah, or the storm got him. Could have, yeah. You know, they left a pilot right on his, on in his kitchen that one time. Or oh, no. Don't, no, don't even tempt fate with that one. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Let's see I wonder if he's saying anything in the uh, Discord chats. He's still showing up over there. Oh, whoops. Maybe Accidentally closed Chrome. Yeah, I'm out. Grab the chat window, I guess. I think the nasty parts of the storm are past us. Well, well. Yeah, they, they passed your place right over to his. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're going north to south, so. Yeah. They seem to do some nice sound effects over here. That's for sure. Like, jeez. For, for a second there, I thought that the beans there he goes. loaded in the kitchen. No, that was me. Oh, where? No, he just left the Discord. Oh, okay. Hmm. Give it a moment, he'll disappear off roll 20. So, uh... How about Maybe that, Maybe you take a break for technical difficulties? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the storm's going with everybody. Mm. I don't know if I can... I don't think this lets me pause the stream. Uh, you can mute the desktop audio and the video. Oh, wait. Say something? Michael, are you back? Yeah, I, uh, I'm on my phone. Uh, my internet went down for a bit because of the storm. Mm. I'm on, man. Well, I know I haven't fully explored the bottom oh. floor yet, but... Oh, it's getting back to normal. I'm almost back. All right. Partially like, uh, it's like Cody's very tired. Yeah, oh. I'm focusing right now because we're not in combat or anything. Throw combat at us, please. Please, <laughs> he, he took the combat away from us. I'll tell you what, I'll just go charging in through this door up here. Wow. Oh, if you need someone to charge for the door, let me know. Oh, well, well I already tried. Thing is, this yeah. door is locked. Are you gonna, should I pick the lock first, or do you? Wanna... Oh, oh, we're starting the party now. <laughs> what they right. the party? Uh oh. Okay. No, I uh, see the door kicked open. Basak's gonna do the same. 
<laughs> kick all the doors, doors open. Or, or the doors like kicked open and on the ground and the master comes over and like starts kicking in some more things. It was... Uh you find yourself back outside. What? And and upside down. <laughs> Alright, so let's go through. I can't door. actually <laughs> rotate my character at the moment. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let's go through this one. Let's go up the stairs while I'm still disguised. All right. Yeah, how long so does that last? I think it's an hour. Okay. So let's go to let's go to the, let's go check this door. All right, and and by the way, Michael, there was nothing else in the, there were no other exits in this room. Because we can't tell. I'm thinking we may have lost him. Mm -hmm. Which one? Yes. <laughs> which one? Yes, yes. which one? Well, to Toby went for key. So, so this is where we say, hey, hmm, maybe we should pull up the radar and see what the situation is at the Zaref's house. Yeah. Let me start forgetting. Uh, you see a tub of water. You see, uh, you see clothes on clothesline, and you see a dead, uh, middle-aged female human with a ring of keys on her uh, belt. Get the keys. Oh, I guess that's my job. I get the keys. And you also see oh. a set of stairs over there. Ooh, stairs too. I don't do the stairs so from here. We still got the fog of war going, so we don't see everything on the map. Yeah, well, I don't think you can do anything about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, go up the stairs, maybe? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Well, oh, wait, so which room was this? Was this the room adjacent, or are you talking about outside, Michael? Uh, no, I'm talking about the room adjacent. It's a laundry room, basically, with a okay. stairwell on the going up, right? So a second set of stairs that leads up. Yeah. I don't know. It's up to you, boss. But I'd say we just go upstairs now. Yep. Sounds good. Yep, All yep. right. Uh, which stairwell? Uh, the one in the laundry room or the one in the main hall? The laundry room. Laundry room. Right. Yes. Should we'll you come take out, come the out from the dryer and see what happens? You look like them. Well, yeah, I'll take the lead. Nope, they've gone off of roll twenty again. Yeah. Um. The. But I'm still on Discord on the phone. Mm -hmm. And I can see everything on my uh, on the app. All right. Uh, so you go to you. You see a long dark hall with uh, one hallway. One leads uh, to the left. One leads straight ahead of you. And Do I hear any noises from either one? Uh, you see three rooms. In that area. Three rooms all attached to one hall, or is it three rooms? They're all attached to the hall. To the hall ahead of us, or? Okay, oh, yeah, keys, right? yeah, hold on a second. I'm about to read description if you decide to go in the room. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, you see the large three chambers. 
Okay, and you, yeah, you do hear something needle foot. Mm. Don't make any noise. They might hear you. Guys, I whisper. So, uh, what is that? Uh, I'll whisper through the door back. I hear you. <laughs> oh no, they're after us. <laughs> No, no, don't mind us. We're just looking for. So hold on. So, so somebody can hear us. Apparently. Well, uh, went to the door and whispered back. We can hear you. <laughs> All right, let me go up to that door and open it. And remember, I'm disguised like the half elf. You open the door and uh, you see all these uh, one of three rooms, but they're basically the same room. And you see nine people in made outfits and servant outfits just go, Oh no, they are coming! <laughs> you scared the hell out of them because <laughs> mm -hmm. you look like the bad guys. Rit, Rit starts laughing his ass off. He's like, good one, boss. <laughs> Let me close the door. <laughs> but, but maybe they might have more treasure on them. We'll be back. They don't seem to be going anywhere. Mm. Should I try to oh, carry rig a lock on the door? What's that? Uh, yeah. Should we try to... No, I'm trying to hear the... Unpick the door, yeah. pick it in, pick it in so that it's locked. Actually, we got keys from that one lady downstairs. The clothes lines, right? Sure, go ahead and lock it. So I'm uh, trying to fiddle around to figure out how to lock it. So, Michael, what were you saying? Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. All right. We can. The Wi-Fi went back. Uh, basically, uh. Uh, basically, you guys, uh, you're upstairs, and you found the servants' quarters, and you freaked them the hell out because you're dressed like one of the Zens. So, uh, did you have a question for me, or? Yeah, can we close the door and lock the door? Uh, yeah, you can if you want to. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll go to the next room. Uh, it's. Pretty much the same thing. They're just servants' quarters up here. Didn't we More hear servants? fighting up here as well? Uh, you heard fighting up the other stairs. Oh, these, 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 this, this, these stairs do not attach to the other stairs. No, they don't. They're separate wings. Hmm. So, oh, is Rick... I see. That's why you're moving everyone's pawn up. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's just try the other door. You see, what did we see? Uh, same, just servants' quarters. Okay, try this one. Servants' quarters. All right, run back. Go to the next stairs. All right, next so, stairs. Okay, where does that go? Oh. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we just found the Archmage's uh, hidden wizard tower. In this. All right. And next yeah. week we play as uh, little toads. <laughs> okay, so are you still holding on to your disguise? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so you notice uh, there's this big brawl between the guards and the Zents. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what are you doing over there? Come help us. You don't already have you it under control? Now. What's wrong with you? The master will hear of your the master will hear of your incompetence. How are you superior, you idiot? <laughs> I am your master. I am your master. Well, he's not the master, but he's your superior. Okay. I am Master Blaster. <laughs> 
So, oh. am, am, from here, am I, uh, is there a wall or is it open stairs? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, uh, let me show you this real quick. There's this door over here, door over here, and this set of doors right here. There's like several right. red guys. Yeah, there's a wall on this side, but it's kind of a looking over balcony over the stairs, not the hall, but the stairs. Is there anybody over there that we can uh, see at this point, which is pretty much? Uh, oh yeah, you can see all. Uh, yeah, you can see all these uh, guys, pretty much. All right. So from where I'm standing, are, are the the Zents, right? Right. Are they all three in a row like that? Yeah. And I can. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they head, are. Is my head sticking up enough? Yeah, you can, but you will lose your disguise if you do this. You know that, right? Well, he'll still have the disguise. They just won't believe me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It... I'll still have the disguise. They just won't believe me. It's like, dang, I fell. What did you eat last down there? <laughs> He's up, Chuck. So, uh, basically, uh, man, that's you, a yeah, basically, I'm gonna have them uh, roll with uh, disadvantage because they weren't expecting it because you're using this guy self. So, so. Uh... Yeah, you dick save. That's almost as low as you could possibly roll for that, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, let's see. Fail. Oh, no, it's two. Fail. Three. Ooh. Okay, that one fails. Uh, only the top guy succeeds, so he takes one damage. Mm -hmm. And the others take uh, three. three damage. I thought they had disadvantage, didn't they? Yeah, but the guy still succeeded. And oh, right, uh, nine. yeah, if they have disadvantage, then he rolled a nine. That fails. Yeah. So oh fail. yeah. Oh yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, my bad. But also, isn't so, a dragon born breath weapon? Oh, you did. Oh. Never yeah, mind. it's only the green one has con save. No, 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 I thought the damage wasn't enough. I was looking at the roll, like, like yeah. Out, but then, yeah, he just rolled awfully. Yeah, yeah, he just rolled really bad. Um, let's see. And I will say that the uh, tracks the guards enough, uh, or distracts the thugs enough for the guards to go in for the kill. Mm-hmm. And uh, so then I'll go ahead and drop my disguise. Yeah. And they look at you and they go, My goodness, are you by any chance hero adventurers? Indeed, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Rich Rit, Rit tries to hold back a laugh. We 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 don't like to brag. Roll a con save, con, uh, Rit. <laughs> con save. <laughs> if he doesn't fall down the stairs laughing. Con save. Hmm. Yeah, you're on the floor <laughs> laughing, just rolling side to side. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Adventurers are a uh, noble thing in Waterdeep. You mistake us for adventurers. He's, 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 he's not used to. He's not used to be called a, to being called a hero. Mm, yeah, yeah. See, he he makes a bad recipe. Uh, we we make the good recipes for the cookies to so come before never leave visits again. Kowalds and their recipes, you know, it's like worse than boring bread. Oh, by the way, uh, Needlefoot, did you look in that book anymore? No. No, <laughs> not after the ghost came popping out of it. No way. They didn't pop out of it. They just popped around you when you open it. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. 
All right. I'm going to wait for another the boss to examine it. Uh, uh, where are you keeping the book, by the way? I guess it's stowed in my pouch right now, yeah, in my bag. Uh, all right. Um, and uh, Shades, where are you keeping the hawk on your shoulder? It's in a cage, right? Uh, didn't you take it with you? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I did, yes. Okay. I think Michael was saying the cage was attached to the pillar it was stood on, so to take the hawk with, it would, would be, be removed shoulder. from the cage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, the, see the hawk's on his shoulder and it's pecking away at the dead pseudo dragon corpse. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. There we go. That's what I needed. Uh, do, do, do. But if these guards are giving us sideways glances about these items, it's like, uh, we're just keeping them under. They're just uh, happy to see you. It's like, since you are young, noble adventurers, I'm randomly going to, for no apparent reason, invite you to talk to my lady, despite knowing not knowing you uh, strangers, but you're noble adventurers. I'm thinking nothing can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, noble crime fighters. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to say that because I had to point out that plot hole. <laughs> it's not a plot hole, but it's just like every adventure. Like, you're noble adventurers, I'll let you come help. Sure. It's like, why? Why? Because. No. Hey, uh, man, if I need to, I'll flesh my uh, Lord's Alliance signet ring. Hey. Oh, yes. That would get them right away uh, to. Uh, uh, Catch you. Oh, your Lord's Alliance. Go right this way. Right this way. Hmm. I bet they're Lord's Alliance too, see? <laughs> no, they're uh famed for uh protecting nobles. Mm -hmm. I turn to I turn to to Rit and I say You you see that Rit? That's called respect. <laughs> <laughs> you hear one of the guards go. <clears throat> <laughs> He found this constitution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh all right. Uh you're brought into the master bedroom. Ooh, the master bedroom. Come on, Thunder X, is that you back there? This is what oh, real I'm cooking is getting through the door. So you see a noble woman wearing breastplate armor with two rapiers on her sides. Cool. Beautifully designed. And you see a ornate wooden trunk in the southwest corner. You see a what? Oh, <laughs> you see a bathtub, and in front of it is a mirror. Mm -hmm. mm. Wait, did you say mayor is in female horse or mayor is in the mayor of the city? No, mirror, mirror, as mirror, reflective. <laughs> oh, a mirror. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I like uh, either of the <laughs> previous two. <laughs> and this, is, this is where the I'd English like to think all three are there. Are. A mirror, a mare, and a mare. Yeah. <laughs> that's the Texan like, accent. Like, are we you interrupting? You see, <laughs> are we yeah, interrupting see, something, or are we just in time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see a uh, wardrobe and you see a little uh, satyr pop out going, I'm Mr. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You just see a wardrobe. Uh, is there and... someone about to take a bath in the bathtub? Or is there someone already in there taking a bath? Uh, uh, no, you just see the... Uh... Is the water oh, bloody because somebody was taking a yeah, bath? Yeah, she... Uh, uh, basically, the way it's uh, positioned is if someone's taking a bath, they can look at themselves in the mirror. Mm -hmm. While they're baby. Mm -hmm. Vain, Whoa, are we at this dude. That's what I was about to get to. Uh, that is her bodyguard. 
a huge half orc uh, with noble clothes. Not noble clothes. Uh... Is this our half orc acquaintance? Oh or... wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with a uh, morning star on his side, and uh, he's well muscle bound. Man, well, yeah, and he just goes, ah. So I heard there were adventurers outside. Good evening. My name is Habraz, and this is the lady Grauhund, Grauhund, or whatever. You can read it. Growl Tiger, right? <laughs> lady Growl. Lady, yip, 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 yip. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. I'm not a <laughs> he guy, just, the half orc just walks up between your know, foot. It just punches you in the face, and your nose starts bleeding. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. It just walks back into his position. Ow. Ow. How big is this half compared to Bazak? <laughs> They're evenly statured. They go over That's and join my friend half-orc. there. That's a very big half Giving him a close look. Is that what? Is Maybe. that what you? Is that what Ritz says? Damn, that's a big half orc. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So, uh, all right. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Nope. Don't think I have any idea how he fights. Nope, not at all. <laughs> I'm just going to scurry on back over to this uh, and be my rip friend. Nope, we've lost them. Uh, no, I'm just reading real quick. Vasak mm. like gives a slight bow to the lady and a nod to the half orc. Yeah, the half orc nods back. The Vasak, he punched me in the he face. He gets a nod. He, he nods back. Um, uh, she's like, well, this is a wonderful conversation and all, but I'm afraid we have to. What you going to do with all that junk, all that junk in your trunk? (laughs) Pardon? (laughs) Look, it's a door. Hmm. Look, it's an open door. Do you know why they were attacking you? Uh, There's Zins. I have no idea what, why they would attack me. And uh, we still, we still haven't seen the golem, right? No, we. Uh, and she, well, as soon as you say golem, she just goes, "Pardon?" I I wasn't asking them. I was just. Making an observation for the okay the party, oh. but if is that right? So. We're here for a golem. I thought we were here for um, well, it's a mechanical machine, but yeah. I just remember we were uh, following one to come here, right? Yeah, and I remember you, uh, you were hearing someone being at this house paid for it. Mm-hmm. And that's what led your investigation here. Yeah, I, I was just. I was just mentioning that as like as a, not as refresher. to mention to outside as a refresher for the party. But. Right. All right. And uh, she looks at half orc. Please uh, allow us to talk. Go protect the children. And he just walks in here. Okay. So adventurers, eh? What? No, 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 no. We're neighbors bringing brownies. I know my neighbors, and you're not my neighbors. We just moved in the neighborhood down the road, and the old abandoned. We're getting into a uh, up a bit. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think our inn's anywhere near here. <laughs> <laughs> it's down the road. Like, yeah, neighbor, so, as uh, if we live in the same city. So, uh, Lady Growl. Um, what you have something to tell us? 
No. I have no wide re- idea why these Zints would come to this. Wait, wait, wait. Plane. You asked for the orc to leave and uh, you don't have anything to tell us because of that doesn't make sense. Well, I think we can only hold off the Zints for a time before something else comes to, to before maybe their leader comes. The master? Master? She kind of has a puzzle, uh, puzzle look on her face. Mm, that's how we were too when we were about him. So, uh, lady, lady uh, Growl, uh, do you know what led us here tonight? I have no idea what would bring an adventurer intruding on my, upon my home. Oh, we didn't mean to intrude. Probably examples. But uh, I'm sorry. I didn't think that you uh, that people who helped uh, who helped you against your attackers were considered intruders. Well, your help is welcome, but I'm just questioning why you went into my home. We were chasing. Uh, we were in pursuit of a uh, mechanism which was operating criminally. And we were attempting to apprehend it. And we followed and that she, mechanism to this residence. Uh, she uh, just kind of has this like poker face glance and just walks the door, locks it, and goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm going to challenge that right away. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, ear for deceit. Oh, what's that do? Let's see. I do off the top picking out lies. We can win some inside check, determine what the creature is like. At least the role of Sidonia Lord on D20 is an eight. Yeah, she's an inside check of 22. Yeah, Yeah, but if it had been lower, it would have been minimum uh, 11. Yeah, Uh, she's, she's lying like no tomorrow. Okay, okay. I'm going to back off with a little cover story that we're bringing you brownies. If you'll back off the cover story that you know nothing. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. I'm not good at persuasion. That's oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, fine. I would have been me behind the ears. <laughs> No, thank you. But there may have... There may have been a purchase for a nibble, right? But I, it left long ago. I have no idea why it would be here. Well, it is here. It is currently inside this residence. We haven't located it yet. Oh, uh, roll me a perception check. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say that's enough. Uh, You notice a... (laughs) Okay, Okay, Neilfoot notices a... uh, kind of a window that was uh, opened. And uh, you see kind of blueprints of a... the shape of the mechanical machine you saw. Is this where I'm at over here? This window here? Is that the open window? No, I think it's like... No, wait, there's no way. Let's just say the window's over here in this corner. Just for sake of argument. Which corner? What? So, yeah, you can tell that she's still lying, despite she's coming forward with truth. So she's telling you some truth, but not the whole truth. So I'm also going to make a persuasion roll. And I'm going to remind, and I'm going to ask Vazak to go stand near the door. Which door? I'm going to motion him towards this door. Where the half-orc. And the children. Uh, quick question. Uh, Needlefoot, do you still have that book? Yeah. It's okay, I'm just making sure. I'm looking around doing weird things with my equipment, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm okay, gonna just... make I'm gonna make a persuasion roll. 
Mm-hmm. That's if, pretty good. If she's you... not responding or helping us, then I'm going to switch to intimidation. She goes, well, and she uh, uh, sits in a chair, cross her legs and goes, how do you plan to prove all this? I think I think that's the moment you go to um, intimidation. I think so too. Over your dead corpse. Why, I, why, why would I need sound? to prove anything when you when you're dead? By the way, uh, Needlefoot, you kind of hear the book swishing in your bag. Fine. I open my bag. What do you want? What do you want? Pull out the book. What, why are you moving around? It accidentally opens up and you're looking at this page and you read a, bit, a little about their family history. Werewolves, right? And and, he, and you realize you got info on her. You got some dirt. I, I nudge the boss and go, hey boss, look at this. Let's... Is that proof, Mr. Needlefoot? No, I think it is. Well, you know, got it, but you can safe. give me a second opinion if you want. Uh, Shades, as you read it, because you're more well versed in Needlefoot, you know that their family years ago, along with some other people, had made their devil worshippers, mm-hmm. and there may have been a pact with Asmodeus. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's why we have Asmodeus? teachers up here. Okay. So um, I'm going to turn Asmodeus, to her, Asmodeus. and I'm going to say. Mr. Needlefoot has the receipts. We Slap have... the book shut, put it back in the bag. <laughs> and uh, she sees the book. It's like, where did you get that? And now I'm going to make my intimidation. Yeah, you intimidate Okay, fine. I was working with the Zents, and I was working with the Master, but I just wanted to retrieve and give it to the Master myself. It was just... It was like, I'm just not getting... Let Flocks in take all the glory. I'm not gonna let who take all the glory. Flocks in, he's the head of this branch of the Zents. Mm-hmm. Is he the master? Who's the master? We don't say his name. Then write he's, it. As I, I, he's got ears everywhere. Then write it. And you, uh, uh, you see her go to her. Pull out a piece of paper and pin a quill and write it on a parchment, folds it up, hands it to you. Mm-hmm. And, uh, as Matthias, as Matthias. And you, uh, you unfold it, you read it, and it immediately burns in your hand. But you got a peek of the name. Mm-hmm. And it says, Manchun. Man, Chun, can you type it into the chat window? Yeah, I can. Or is it Munchun? Uh, 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 Apparently, he's Asian. Uh, mm, no, Manchu. I got to write the first time. Did you see it? Mm-hmm. Chun. Now, uh, now I will uh, ask you again in a very intimidating manner. Uh, I say that. Where is your mechanism? I want the item. It's gone. It already left. It was given orders to deliver it to the master. Where did it go? I don't know. Then how does the mechanism know how to get there? It it was my husband's instructions. Where's your husband? I'm not sure. Or let me check real quick. Mm. He's dead, Jim. Wait. 
Sorry, it's just it's a long list of like how many rooms are in here. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. That was. And... Oh wait, yeah, yeah, you you do see a window in this area because this apparently is a large balcony. Yeah, it was like, what's this little open swinging doors like? A saloon? Yeah. Um... Wander back over there and go, hmm, what's in here? Yeah, she's like, I don't know where my husband is. For all I know, he could be dead. Mm. Tell the boss what you know, or you might join him. Fine. I was working with the Zens for a while, but I just want to push myself in higher standing with the Master. Mr. Needlefoot, search her trunk okay. while she speaks. While so she's over and I start patting her down? <laughs> no, no, she's got a trunk, he said. Oh, what is this thing over here? I don't know where he All said right. the trunk was. It's in southwest corner. Mm, southwest. It's over here. Hmm. We investigate to make sure, see if there's any traps. Mm, pretty good. Maybe an arcana just from oh, the right side. And then, do, 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 do. Try to pick the locks if there are any. Or check my keys against them. And then put in this All right, did you, uh, the trunk is going to take Thief's Soul. All right, you did that, you passed that. Take what? The, the, you were able to unlock the trunk with your Thief's Tools. I was not? You were able to. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah it's a DC 15. So, yeah, you basically, uh, in the trunk, and she just goes, oh, for goodness sake. And then you see a bunch of, Asmodeus worshipping roles and holy symbols of Asmodeus. Lovely little cult you have going on. Cult of personality you got going on here. And then you hear a knock on the door. Ma'am, is everything okay? Uh-oh. The guards are here. Good luck getting past me. I'm leaving on the door. Mm. So, well, she should say something, shouldn't she? I mean, are we against her or with her? That's a question. So, um, I think that's up for the boss to decide, right? So, yeah. So, yeah. So the. Uh, so what did we decide? What did we determine was in the trunk? Uh. Asmodeus worshiping roles and holy symbols to Asmodeus. Basically, all the uh, fine uh, requirements needed to be uh, a nice little Asmodeus. It's basically, yeah, uh, what I took from it is like there's one of two ways to like get her to talk. One's the book and one's open the trunk. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, um, hmm. It's not necessarily a bad thing that she worships for this Modius, right? I don't really care. Yeah, yeah, I'm more curious about, <laughs> but it is something that we can give to the authorities to take her down and put us in better standing. If, if we need to. Yeah. What help? She's like, no, please, I'll give you whatever you want. The mechanical man who seems to have disappeared out of. Her I room. can't summon it. It's already gone. How about what? Do you, what? Do you, what kind of? Uh, what kind of uh, currency you have on you? <laughs> Criminal party. also call off big boy yeah tell your half work that it's all cool <coughs> now let me look up his name real quick it's like one of his weird names Harbras Rick 
Hi, Braz. Rich is, Rich is sitting in front Please, of the fire. Please uh, take care of the children and stand down. Okay, Mom. As you wish. And now, Lady so, Lady Growler. What's what's can we determine her um her social status in Waterdeep? She's a noble, so yeah, she's yeah. pretty she's high up there. Noble. Like, yeah. And the thing is, uh, they're high up there, but they're not the highest up there. Like, no, the but having having a noble on our side, exactly. To, to help yeah. sponsor our in activities and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. interesting. I didn't even think of that. I yeah, was just I thinking think... pure extortion. Well, technically, you're blackmailing to make pay your payments. True. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and I your guess point it is, is, it is extortion. A partner, so it's not quite black. <laughs> yeah, it is extortion. I, I don't, I don't understand this word, extortion. It's too complex for my character. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the, this is way beyond Vazak. This is Toby talking. <laughs> so if we're oh, no, no, no. Up... Technically, Vazak is an enforcer. He'd know threaten, he that type get money. Yeah. Well, yeah. be an intimidation check, a group intimidation check for this. I, I want to see if we can put, make convince her to pay your bills. Everyone run intimidation or uh, intimidation or persuasion, whichever's higher. They're both off of charisma, the Michael. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do you Thanks. expect? I'm not Plus, very carrying the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not very intimidating. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd say, we, yeah. Did we not I'm get advantage for the fact that we got her book and her? Yeah, I'll give you all advantage. <laughs> there we go. No, nope, not me. Well, there's three of you. It got pretty high, so. Uh, and one. Yeah, I, yeah. It's like I think it's Rittefeld. It's like, yeah, yeah. You tell us. I'm not scared of you. Oh, <laughs> it's not very intimidating. It's okay. He's smart. He's wise enough to know when she's bullshitting. Right. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Rit you can... and Needlefoot. We know when she's bullshitting. She uh, gets out a pen and quill, put, gets his form, writes his thing, places her seal on it, and then puts it in a bowl open and go, there. Now you can, will you leave me alone? Uh, uh, no, we're, we're, never, we're never leaving you alone. <laughs> we are never leaving you alone. Let's be clear about that. We will leave you be for the time being. But we are you know, they say there. there's a deep, special place in the Nine Hells where people like you. Then I'll see you there. I would know. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'll see you say, there. Say, boss, wouldn't an agreement like this customarily go with a drink and maybe possibly a down payment of trust? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably it's a persuasion a very, check. It's a very good th point, Thunder Punch. Boom! Very good point. <laughs> okay. She's like, she pulls out a bottle, pours a wine in each of your glass. No, it's champagne. It just pops it and just goes, fine. To being extorted by a bunch of the biggest asses I've ever met. <laughs> and then the I turn and I look. Hold on. I'm going to turn. <laughs> I'm going to look. I'm going to look at her at her rear side and I'm like, have you looked into that mirror lately? <laughs> <laughs> Scratch what Vaz said. Go with that. <laughs> it is a man, after all. He's got the food and the drink, but what about when you actually want to go to sleep? Or... So, uh... Sort of sleep. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go ahead and see ourselves out. Um, you yeah. may or may you may find yourself uh, uh, short a few items of furniture. And you're like, you know, yeah, we're taking know, the Falcon too. And the Falcon too. <laughs>
You don't Empire tell her that. <laughs> I'd imagine that's apparent by the fact that it's sitting on Shades' shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I just see it. It, it, I, I just like to picture this moment where he's like, it's all right, little buddy, as he scratches under his finger and Ritz is like, I thought I was your little buddy. <laughs> as we leave, Baz is going to leave last, making sure the half-orc can't burst through before the others get out. And as he leaves, he's just going to give her a very polite bow and say, if you're ever in disagreement with our agreement, let your big boy know. We'll sort it out one to one. I think she's always going to be in disagreement to our agreement. <laughs> no, I mean like if she's gonna try and break it or whatever. Oh yeah. He can one be one. Okay, so you uh you leave the mansion as you uh leave the uh authorities show up and they're like What happened? Oh you you are the guys helped with our investigation. Uh, uh, is everything okay in the manor? Yeah, you need oh, to talk fine. to her guards. We were assisting them, but her guards have, have got the situation under control. You can go talk to them, especially that big half worker of hers. Yeah, just some Zants. Just some Zants attacking, ta- attacking the house. We help. You just see, see her on the balcony watching you guys say that, and she just glowers. <laughs> glowers or growls? <laughs> Probably, yeah, but uh, yeah, and I guess uh, you got fully functional in uh, by next day after you take the letter and 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 so forth. And I guess that's where we're gonna end this session. (laughs) It's awesome, I I know. It's like I I could have asked that to end it better. Go, go, we go. I go up to the ghost in the in the in the uh, inn. Hold up my hand. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I got a double book. Five. There's company. But you, you said gotta find a good place to lock this away and keep it secure, right? <laughs> so that uh, you have it Rit, as her. Rit, Rit tells the ghost, our ghost, Asimodes didn't get as good as deal as we did off of her. <laughs> 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 We banged. Thunder Punch wants a custom chair by the door of the inn and a custom tankard. <laughs> oh, yeah. it, just says Vazic, and it says Vazic rules, rule is spelled R-U-L. Perfect. With and a Z at the end. It'll be what, this little folding chair that yeah, let's get you guys back to the inn. <laughs> All right, Down where's that? Or shut up and be happy. Well, I meant more just like a custom chair that could bear his weight. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's like eight foot tall and like 400 pounds with gear. So. Mm-hmm. And you still got the, the owlbear pelt on you, right? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention that. Like, why is my rug on your head? <laughs> well, I forgot it. I'm pretty sure that was the least of her worries, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's like the last thing she's going to have on her mind. If anyone points it out, uh, Vasek will attempt to kill it. If it appears to be dead, he wants it made into a onesie. Or as close to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll end this session there. I, I had a blast with it. <laughs> nice. You guys are the, I, I have to be honest, you guys are the best players ever. Oh, thanks, Michael. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. You're an amazing DM. Yeah. No. Having fun. But, uh, we're we're all having way fun, off. is the bottom line. <laughs> yeah, as long as we're all having fun. True, true, true. So, uh, right. speaking of uh, the end of having fun. Uh, let's talk about next week. <laughs> uh, uh, next week, uh, we're doing Desert Desolation, right? Uh, well, it's Father's yeah. Day. It is Father's Day. Uh, 
So that's a well, question for everybody. But no one celebrates Father's Day, right? Uh, I'm not booked for Father's Day. Well, no, the question is if Aaron is, because he's a DM and he's a father. Yeah, so for no Father's ever... Day, I get to, I get to play D&D. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if we were able to do it, I would ask uh, if Mac would probably join us on that day for a special character or something. Uh, we'll see. But I the problem it. is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the big problem is roll 20s. Uh, algorithm won't let free passes for more than five players. That's true, yeah. So I think yeah. Well, I'm pro currently, so... Right. I don't know if that helps, but just throwing it out there. That you're what currently? I've got the pro subscription. Oh, I see. Mm. So, uh, yeah, yeah I we'll, we'll... I think that only matters for the DM, right? Yeah, I think you'd have to be the DM, but... Uh... But either way, so next weekend is uh, uh, is Desert of Desolation. Um, I think y'all really stepped in it uh, at the last. Oh, session, so. <laughs> stepped in it. This, this is, is where we find the best TPK, right? <laughs> so, uh, so it's not a TPK or plot armor. <laughs> so uh, everyone has got plot armor, but Darelax. <laughs> Well, I should be uh, able to make it by so I think I got my Discord set. Uh, yeah, and also uh, I host Saturday's uh, streams uh, I'm on. Uh, we switch from Conan to uh, 5e to uh, which is a Conan setting playing D and D and 5e. I should be more specific about that. And Star Wars role-playing game by Fancy Flight on other days, but that's going to be on Saturdays. Mm. Uh, and uh, check. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that. I'll talk to him about it. I'll probably mention his channel later for the YouTube videos for it. But uh, yeah. Um, so uh, everybody, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you all again next time. All right. Hey. Bye. Yeah. Bye.